today I am checking on a new build up in in uh, Woodstock just above Main Street so, detached homes this is a community that features detached homes and and townhomes my clients got a detached home under contract and I'm gonna just go check on progress and you know they, they uh, they were smart enough to hire an inspector, which is always a good idea. I don't care if you're buying a resale or a new construction. It's always a good idea to hire an inspector. And this, the inspector found a couple of things, so I'm, uh, I'm checking up on that, make sure that they were handled. Here's my, here's my buyer's house. Be ready for occupancy probably in September. It's originally supposed to be July, but new construction can be a little tricky sometimes, you know, based on weather. And, and this year, uh, supplies, building supplies have been kind of sporadically uh, not available. And, uh, you know, builders have challenges. But it uh, looks like we're on track for September occupancy. I'm gonna walk under this ladder because I'm, I'm brave like that. So when I'm walking through, I'm looking for uh, gusset plates that don't quite meet. Um, missing missing lumber cracked lumber that sort of thing uh you know i do this for all my new construction people uh, all my new construction clients but uh i don't really have a construction background and i'm a realtor i d i stay in my lane and i really recommend that um you hire a professional inspector they look at thousands of houses and they generally have a construction background but I'm another set of eyes during the construction process and I, I take pictures and document um, you know usually it's for nostalgia purposes for the buy for the buyer but it can also come in handy when we're talking to the builder and getting things done The house is getting painted right now. It's pretty blue color. So construction sites are dangerous. You know, there's a lot of a lot of heights with without railings you can walk off of, and staircases that aren't uh, protected. Um, build it. The laborers will leave things like that laying around so you know you really have to watch where you're stepping when you're looking at uh, construction sites and always check in with the builder's office before you start looking around because you know some activities they just don't want people walking through at that particular moment so I have come out <clears throat> on builds before and checked in with the office and they said, uh, they said that, you know, today's not really a good day, and they've got this and that going on, so, and I don't want to get in their way, you know. We're all working for the same thing. We want the buyer to get their house on time and, and be happy. So new construction has a lot of positives and there are some negatives. You know, the, the positives, obviously, you get a house that nobody's lived in and you, know, you get the nice modern open floor plans and they're highly energy efficient with, with the uh, 
insulation and, and the building techniques that they use to house are very tight you know there's not a lot of uh, heat loss or uh, energy loss in new construction some of the negatives they use lightweight construction see that uh, that lightweight roof roofing and support system I mean that's all that's all fine you know as long as there's no issues but uh, you know this kind of roof that's held by a little thin piece of metal you know and all the builders do this you know um, that's just the way they build houses these days uh, the older houses have really uh, big fat dimensional lumber holding up the roof so you know with with my years in the fire service uh, we would walk new construction just to see what we're uh, dealing with you know the fire crew would be walking through here looking at fire vulnerabilities um, basically the consensus in the fire industry is if this house is burning um, we're looking you know we're, we're looking to operate five minutes and that's it uh, you know save save the occupants and not worry too much about the, the house uh, make that that's a secondary thing because um, you know it's gonna fall down pretty quick uh, so that's why it's really important to have your smoke alarms uh, you want to change your smoke every eight to ten years regardless of what kind of house you live in because that's how long they're designed to uh, to last but um, you know the thicker lumber that they use in the old construction uh, old growth lumber uh, that stuff you you can you can count on a structure like that standing for for a long time you know under normal conditions and even even under fire conditions that's gonna you know that's gonna remain standing for quite a long time but this would be a nice big primary bathroom so you know I'm, I'm just I'm filming and I'm walking and talking at the same time um, not seeing any issues I'm gonna turn the camera off and take a better look um, and send my clients some pictures but I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions about new construction I'm John Grimes I'm with Better Homes and Gardens Metro Brokers 404-663-5772 404-663-5772 Thanks.